and welcome to this Leeds United match preview of Leeds facing Sheffield United at Bramwell Lane this Saturday. And it is a massive game, not only for Leeds, but also for Sheffield United, as both teams are uh, dropping away from the playoffs. Both teams need to keep themselves in and around that playoff kind of hunt and uh, try and pull themselves back into the uh, back, back into the race, basically. Um, also a massive game for Leeds because it's the first game for new manager Paul Heckingbottom. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see what he does, if he changes anything. Hasn't hasn't really got too much options in what he can do because half our players out suspended or injured anyway. So um yeah, I mean <laughs> I'm not really sure what he can drastically change, but maybe we'll get that instant bounce. I don't know. Uh, but obviously we'll start off with the lineup. I'll be talking about Leeds United because this is a Leeds preview. But if you're a Sheffield United fan, you can just wait this bit out, and I'll be talking about both teams in a bit. But starting off with Leeds, uh, in goal Viedvold. Don't really have much choice over that. Right back, we're gonna go with Verona and Nita. Uh, uh, by the way, before I get into this, I'd probably mention that this is what I would do if I was manager, not what I expect taking what I'm to do. So, Viedvold, right back Anita. Anita needs to prove himself because I have been defending him so much this season. If you watch these vlogs week in, week out, you know that I often defend Anita and say he has 100 Premier League appearances. You know, he's, he's represented the national team of, of Holland. He should, you know, he should be able to hold himself at this level. But when he has come in at right back, albeit his second position, he's looked out of his depth. So I'm really hoping that he um, he steps to the plate like he had like he did do at the start of the season when we were winning all those games. Centre back Pennington and also Janssen. Despite being stretched off against Cardiff, he's actually uh, he's actually okay. He's actually fully fit for this game, which really makes you think about what how bad the injury really was against Cardiff and whether he really did need to come off. But I'm not going to question Janssen. You know, very few people can. Uh, left back De Bock. As you would expect, not really, again, not really anyone else who can play left back at this point in time. Centre mids, for sure, okay. Now, obviously, Phillips is also back, but I think O'Kane is a better midfielder. I think, in general, I'd just rather have O'Kane. For sure, and O'Kane, they're just, they're just not going to give the ball away. I know Vieira is also in the, um, also available, but he hasn't been playing too well recently. He didn't, he didn't all right against Cardiff, but I'd bring O'Kane back into the team. Uh, and I think they are two best midfielders. The only problem would be they haven't played together yet. I do worry they may be a bit too similar, but I I'm not sure. I'll give it. I'd give it a go. Right wing, you'd have Alioski. Left wing, you'd have Roof in the centre. Hernandez and up front, Pierre Michel Le Soccer, who I think has been doing really well recently, and will be a big decider on whether we win this game or not. If he plays well, if he gets himself a goal, I reckon we will win this game. I thought he played really well against Cardiff. I know he was. Uh, I know he hit the crossbar when he really should have scored. There's a few ads out, but it was unlucky to the bar, and it was unlucky to the post. And overall, it's like a mo he just looked like a really good attacking threat. I thought unlucky not to score, uh, at least. Well, he's unlucky not to score twice, to be honest. Now let's talk about the magnitude of this game and how it will unfold. So Sheffield United are a lot like Leeds. They are um, they are not in great form, but they're still kind of in and around that playoff hunt. They've won two. Are the last 12 games, I believe, which is obviously very bad form for any team, let alone a, a you know, promotion-chasing team. Um, so they've dropped away. They're now five points off the playoffs. So I say they're going to really want to win to get themselves back um, in, you know, back, back in back in the right direction, basically. Um, in terms of leads, uh, obviously we're in pretty bad for ourselves. We're starting to drop off. I don't really see. How I, I personally don't see that we'll finish the playoffs this season, but if we win this game, it'd go a long way to getting us back on track, uh, especially when you look at the fixture list ahead. Hacking bottom has been known to play 4 4 2 in the past, so maybe it'll change things up in that respect, but I'm not really sure. We'll have to see on the day. In terms of a prediction for this game, I think it'll be tight. Both teams are obviously not in great form, it'll be a very scrappy game. Uh, I reckon I reckon it'll be a one-one draw, but I think Sheffield United will have the better of the possession and just the game in general. But Leeds will come away with a point, uh, and hopefully the hecking bottom we will, and hopefully get off a decent start. But put your opinion in the comments section below. Put your prediction in the comment section below. I hope you like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. But otherwise, I'll see you next time.